Hi, this is Free Play Gamer, and this is a review on Blacklight Retribution. Um, first off, I'm just going to show you about the feature of the game, explain the game a bit, and then towards the end, I'll show you a bit of the gameplay. Sorry about not posting videos in a while, just had a bit of trouble with YouTube, plus I've been sick. Okay, um, first off, go to the customization, because that's probably where you spend your most time. Um, you have your, your profile thing here your emotes, that's pretty cool but mostly you can only, you have to buy them if anything is zen, it means you have to buy it with real money and if it's um, the other type then you don't have to unlocks, titles, there's a few cool things here and nodes, um, so far you can't really get them unless you buy them but they're there Hero, you can buy a hero character. I'm pretty sure you have to buy them with Zen. And then equipment. Um, this is where you have your armor. You can customize your type of armor. You buy this with GP, which is the money you can get from playing the game. And as you see over here, you lose slightly a bit of health, get more for this type of armor. A bit less armor, a bit more run and there's heaps of different types and yeah some of them you have to unlock to get them then you have your, your standard chest armor you get different types of that you have your boots and you kinda have your award trophy thing I haven't got one yet don't think I might have then you have your camo which you can buy a couple of them with GP then your gear this one you probably change a bit more than armor you don't really change armor until you kinda of pass level 10 when you have a bit more GP you can get frag grenades they, they all these have the same slots like you can put the same thing I can put a combat knife in this slot an EMP grenade, there's a few different things, so I personally like the decoy, it's pretty cool and then down here, these are all the things you get in a terminal in-game, which you can buy in-game, using CP, which is a currency that you get from playing in the game and this is the one you'll spend the most time on um, at the start you start off with one loadout, which I thought it was permanent because the other ones you had to buy with uh, 200 zen or 100 zen something like that but um, I got this one I think after it to level 5 and with the weapons you can get pre-made this is probably good for a beginner someone who's just starting the game wanting to try the different types of weapons and from the pre-made it's fairly cheap to try a weapon 200 gp which you can get from playing about two matches and they'll give you the weapon for a day to get a weapon permanently it's probably about 6000 GP so you, you kinda gotta pick one weapon or a couple of weapons and work hard towards getting them you can get them in like a few weeks permanently it isn't that hard and then with custom you have you start with the bases of the weapons like machine gun, submachine gun, heavy assault rifle and then you go, you can change the muzzle the barrel, the magazine, the scope, the stock weapon tag and camo and it, do, it does cost a lot more than um, just getting a pre-made weapon but customizing it to your own needs is a lot cooler especially it's like kinda your weapon and that's mostly customization over here is kinda just shows you what you've got attached and this part's handy when you're comparing different types of weapon and over here on this side you click this and this is kind of your social menu you have your profile title thing um, your inventory here where you can get to see how I've, um, rewards packs and you get mail from I just have level up ones and you get a reward so remember check these and then clan, news, node, support, 
friends, all that kind of stuff. Um, the training, you won't really need this. You'll only need this once. If you, you might not even need it. It's just a handy thing. And settings, you change all the things. It's standard inventory. That's You can access that from the social menu or from here. Marketplace, buy stuff. And now I'm going to... Sorry about the bad frame rate. Um, now I'm going to go into a game just to show you what it's like playing the game. And I, I'll, I'll try to talk not too much, but I will talk about a couple of things that you see in the game. Hopefully my computer can run it well while I'm recording. Um, oh, I'll talk a bit about the lobby thing. Um, quick join, it's an easy way if you just want to play a match. You don't really care what. Ranked match, that doesn't really work now. Might work in later. They're always updating the game, so which is good that they're given support, and this should hopefully be in later. And here you see all the lobbies. And an important thing, when you're a beginner, you want to find a lobby that has that, the level 1 to 10, because it's a great way for beginner people to kind of get into the game without just being dominated. So I think I might join one of these. And that's the agents amount, and this is how many agents are actually in the match. So this one's almost full. I'll join this one. Two minutes till it's failed. Okay, these things you can buy health refills, which is handy. When your health goes below 100, it will automatically go back to 100, which is about half health. Um, your ammo refill, these are really, really handy, especially if you're on a good kill streak. Um, Flamethrower, rocket, and then hard suit, which is this big suit thing, which is really powerful. One of the main things about this game is pressing visor mode, V. You can see where enemies are, and it's really, really handy. It's one of the cool things about this game. And when you're on top of your team, you get Warlord, and I just died. And if you get a few kills, you get High Threat. And for killing a High Threat or a Warlord, you get more points. So it kind of adds a bit more strategic to the game. Control this game type is Siege, where you have to protect, protect like this Scorpion tank thing to get to the different objectives. The controls are basically standard of what you find in an FPS game. Damn it.
one thing about the game is if you if you go in groups, it kind of like doubles your damage and it's way more effective. So if you have like a friend, it's going to be a lot easier for you. What I just did then was an emote. See how they're doing their emote? What you do is you just press T when it's in this mode to do it. After a match you get XP and GP. You usually get probably 150 GP each match. It depends, probably from 100 to 150. Some matches you get less. And that's mainly it. I'm not going to do another match. I'm in pretty poor form at the moment. Um, and during matches, you can go to the customization, change your weapons, or just go loadout just to change between your loadouts. And that's that's Blacklight Retribution. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment for more videos. Thank you.